Stand my ring. They'll just drive the brains of the gang to cover. Get a plane over here. I'll clean out the higher ups in San Francisco. My name ain't McTougal, it's McGlowry. Will you get that straight? Most assuredly, old chap. <coughs> you stay here where it's safe. I'll go out and see what it's all about. to radio PDA. Joe Davis, Chief of Pacific Intelligence, is on his way by seaplane. He ought to arrive here at any time now. You gonna leave us? Just for a while. I found out that the head of the spy ring is in San Francisco. He's connected in some mysterious way with PDA. Hank, I want you and Tupper to stay here and guard Milani. She must be protected at all times. Count on us, Mala. For all there, McCoupel and I will defend her. I'll see you all when I get back. I'm going now to meet the seaplane. Goodbye, Princess. Come on, Buck. <laughs> Go find Rex, old boy. Come on. Goodbye, Mama.
Clipper Island. Desperate looking place. Well, there's Marla. Hello there, Joe Davis. Marla, will I be? Are we ready to take off? All set. Marla, I want you to meet Jim Taylor and Ed Bourne. Hello. Hello there. I hope you thought to bring me some clothes. I'd hate to land in San Francisco in this outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I've got just what you need. Take off immediately. I've got a definite lineup on a ring of international crooks operating out of San Francisco. Should be able to round them up in short order. We ought to be there pretty soon now. And from what you told me, we ought to be able to make it pretty hot for some people. You must have eaten something that didn't agree with me. Perhaps you smoked too much. No. It's probably my stomach. Good time. They are here at last. Good. Sir, my wife. How do you do, Mr. Ellsworth? Well, where's Mr. Davis? Haven't you seen him? I thought he got out ahead. Wait a minute.
Jameson's dead. What? Dead? How? What happened? Why, this is terrible. It's strange. The police are arriving so soon. He's in there, Inspector. Get in there, Red. Make an examination. You should be a detective, Taylor. How did you know it was murder? I, I didn't. I just found him dead and thought it was heart failure. Yes? Then why did you send for the homicide squad? Uh, how did you know it was murder? I have proof that it was murder, Taylor. Great evidence of murder. A cigarette is poison. Davis was dead before the plane ever landed. I must ask everyone who was in that plane to remain here for examination. Would you want me? And why not, Taylor? You think if I killed him, I'd be the one to call the police? You carry cigarettes? Yeah, sure. These are not the same brand, but... Uh... I had two packs of cigarettes on the plane. And they were the same brand as the cigarette in a handkerchief there. Let's see them. I said I had two packs. One of them disappeared on the trip. Davis was Muller Superior. They quarreled on the way coming back from the island. Davis said that when they got back, Muller was to be dropped from the service. That's all I know. Your efforts to frame me are so clumsy, I'm almost sorry for you. But I have no pity for the murder of Joe Davis. What do you mean? Why don't you tell them you saw me steal your second package of cigarettes? I, I don't know what happened to them. No? Then you don't remember putting them in the pocket of my coat. I don't know what your game is, Muller. But you can't pin anything on me. I don't have to, Taylor. You've hung this murder on yourself. What about that other package of cigarettes? I found them in the side pocket of this coat. A little package wrapped in cellophane. The fingerprints of the man who killed Joe Davis. I'm sorry, I, I thought... But... Well, he's a kill. Why, if he chops you, break his neck. Hang him out here. Oh! 